Vancouver, British Columbia right now with the team shooting some videos uh, with some of our sponsor companies, the folks who run, I guess I should say, uh, the sponsor companies. I'm chatting right now with Gail Simpson. Gail is the chairman of Exeter Resources. You know, I have to tell you, this is one of the more exciting, let's not even use the word exciting, let's use the word successful. This is one of the most successful companies that in my 25 or 30 years in the business I have ever been involved in. Why do I say that? Well, Yale and I, I, I began I, I began following Exeter uh, probably about three years ago. They were involved in, uh, in Chile with their Caspiche property. We, uh, we went down, shot some video on the Caspiche property, which is way up in the Andes, 14,500 feet. Uh, huge, huge asset. The asset has grown at the end of the season this year, which the season just, just ended it, it, because it's going into winter down there, going into summer up here. At that altitude, it's pretty tough to work uh, for about three or four months out of the year. So their season just ended. Their, their total resource right now, if you just talk in simplistic terms, i.e. gold equivalent, you're up to 42, almost 42 million ounces. That's and all the chickens haven't come home to roost yet, so to speak. No, it, it's, you know, people will say, you know, world class. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's, it's world class. It's, yeah. It's, it, it um, and, and, and one has to be careful with superlatives. Um, it is big. It's, it's the biggest discovery of gold made by the mining industry for some years. And, and I don't know how many years you go back, mm -hmm. but it, it's a big discovery. And, and the really the, 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 the icing on the cake in a way is that it's in Chile. Yeah, and Chile, Chile is it's one of the Chile. most mining-friendly uh, yeah. countries in the world. Yeah. I mean, they are yeah. incredibly dependent on the mining industry for employment, for revenues, yeah. et cetera. And two-thirds of the world's copper yeah. comes out of Chile. Yeah, and they're going to bend over backwards to help you. How yeah. much copper? Let's, let's forget about the coal, gold equivalent. Let's talk about just copper alone. You've got a huge copper asset down there. Yeah, it's um, six and a half billion pounds. I mean, six and a half billion pounds, and, and I mean, copper's... Three dollars a pound, if you like. I mean, you can say how much is that? Twenty billion dollars worth of copper big in the number, ground. Big I mean, we haven't mined it. It's in big the ground. So it's big number. And, you know, and the that's thing, a byproduct. Yeah. Right? The thing that's interesting about the Caspiche property that I found to be interesting is is the amount of very large, sophisticated mining companies that are in that area. I mean, y you guys soon to be in production, but there are there are some very very interesting production situations right around you mm. that that are of size. Well, so you're definitely in a good yeah, area. And, and, and size is what defines the area. Right. And Bryce Roxburgh, our CEO, he looked at the Maracunga back in the, around 1996 and said he would like to be there mm -hmm. because there's big deposits. Uh, we picked up this property in 2005 from Anglo-American. And, and, and they, had, they were the first company in there. Mm -hmm. they, and, but there's big deposits around us. And, and in a way, they need to be big. Sure. Because you're at 14,000 feet plus, so you've got to deal with those issues. But, um, you know, when you look at that whole belt, uh, which is like 100 miles long, the total number of ounces in there, certainly gold equivalent, uh, I don't know, it's probably 150 million mm -hmm. ounces, 200 million ounces gold equivalent. Sure. But if you look at who owns them, <laughs> it's, it's uh, Kinross, uh, Barrick, Gold Corp, and... Exeter. Pretty good company um, for Exeter. Yeah. Pretty good company for them, too, yeah. I have to say. And, yeah. and yeah. obviously, Al, there are a lot of challenges uh, with a junior company sure. discovering something as large as that. You know, by the end of this year, we'll have spent $50 million on it. Um, $50 million, it's just the, the rate of expenditures. You know, we've had six rigs going continuously. We, we pause now for the winter, but each drill hole is a kilometer deep. So. Yeah. Many of them three and a half thousand feet deep. It takes a month to drill one hole. Sure. So the scale of everything is is huge. Each drill hole represents a quarter of a million ounces, um, and, and and so it becomes translating that exploration success into a project. That is, in some respects, there was some luck involved in the discovery. We were the third company to look at it. And we think we're pretty good at what we do, but but it could have been 10 million ounces, turning out as big as it is is, is extraordinary. Oh no, that's huge. That's but huge. But then the I'm not surprised because you talk about Rox, you know, uh, Bryce. You talk about Bryce Roxbury. You're a geologist yourself. You know, I mean, it's not exactly a bunch of amateurs that are down there 
digging around with shovels, so to speak. I mean, you guys really yeah. know what you're doing. Well, yeah. what's, what's interesting now yeah. is, is um, you know, the history of these projects. It's, it's right between two big deposits, right? One's owned by Kim Ross on one side, and the other one's on Barrick. Um, I had one of the geologists said, you know, if you just drew a line between those two deposits, and you just drilled along that line, every kilometer you you would have drilled a hole right into 41 million ounces gold equivalent. Mm -hmm. and, and and I've heard, you know, you hear that in other places too, you know, well, but it wasn't, you know, the project was worked on for years and years and years, but in the end, if you'd simply drilled a hole along this line, <laughs> you would have made the discovery. It, it, it wasn't yeah. that easy at the time. In hindsight, it looks right. like it should have been easier than it was. Mm. If wishes were horses, everyone would ride, right? Or everybody mm -hmm. would be a king or whatever that mm -hmm. goes. But you, I mean, you guys have done a really, really good job down there. And, and you know, the, uh, the investors that, that you have built over the past two or three years really, I think, give proof to the statement that you guys are really doing everything right, uh, right yeah. down there. And I, I mean, a good friend of ours, Marshall Barrell, has got you uh, certainly ensconced in his Encompass Fund. And, mm -hmm. and I know that other institutions, you and I have talked about this, yeah. other institutions are also big shareholders yeah. in Exeter. So that, so that says yeah, something. Perhaps, be, Al, because it's it's trying to deliver on the promise. Uh, we're putting out a, another resource by Jan in September mm -hmm. based on all these additional drilling because we only put out a resource in April and, and by September it's another 20,000 meters of drilling into that resource which is 66,000 feet yeah. for you down south of the border. Um, that deposit is changing shape. Um, we put out a press release. There's more information coming out. It isn't over. It, it's it's remarkable that that with the 88 holes into it that we already had to give us the resource, you would have thought you'd figured it out. Um, it is it's changing dimensions. It, it's it's it, the story isn't over, and and um, it's now the challenge is after that resource comes out is sure. to do all of this engineering, the metallurgy, the water studies, mm -hmm. the environmental to show the real value in this project. Uh, because uh, our view is that there's a, there's a ways to go for the investor and for the company. You know, I think it's interesting. I think the, the end result, I think, uh, you'll have another notch in your belt in the sense that I think this will be one of the, certainly one of the significant major discoveries uh, in, in, mm -hmm. in all of South America. Let's not mm -hmm, just say mm -hmm. just Chile, but in all of South America. So I think that's fantastic, I really do. A couple of things in the interest of full disclosure. Uh, Exeter is a sponsor on our website. What does that mean? That means you can get all the information you want about Exeter by simply clicking on their banner. Uh, that way you can, since I'm not a registered investment advisor and neither is Yale, uh, you can make your own informed investment decision. We're just providing you basically with a starting point. Big Al has been down there. Uh, I, I have seen the scope of this project. I have met the people. Take a look. I think you'll agree with me that this is a very, very interesting situation. Thanks, Al.